You know, given the power of smartphones, it's hard to recall a day when a personal computer meant something the size of a refrigerator. But that was the reality back when a few guys decided to shake everything up with Unix. And they were recently awarded a distinguished honor for their work. Let's check this out. Unix isn't exactly a household name, but this early operating system, started in 1969, led the way for many tech pioneers and products to come. The inspiration really was my colleague Ken Thompson, who was really very interested in writing an operating system. And so he started out, and I joined it pretty very soon after. Ken Thompson, Dennis Ritchie, and a handful of others were young programmers at Bell Labs, hoping to take computers from the workplace to the home front. When Unix was created, there was no personal computer uh, scene. Um, instead, it was the uh, this early 60, late 60s, early 70s was the age of the uh, mini computer, and this these were the first computers that, um, as distinct from the mainframes, uh, which were multi-million dollar machines in the large organization, uh, mini computers were much cheaper. Um, they were some tens of thousands of dollars, say, um, and they were cheap enough so that they could be afforded by an in individual department in a company, an in individual department in a university, and so it was the beginning of the decentralization of computing. The key component of Unix is the kernel or master control program and some other fancy programming stuff. But while it's not the kind of operating system most computer users would understand, it's still a seamless part of our digital lives today. The average um, user probably doesn't know, have, have to know about Unix by that name, but it's probably worthwhile being aware that uh, Unix or systems derived from it or compatible with it are pretty ubiquitous. Uh, a lot of smartphones run, um, uh, for example, versions of Linux. Even the kin Amazon Kindle uh, runs the, the software underneath. And uh, Mac OS X, for example, is essentially a variation on, on Unix. Recently, Unix was awarded the prestigious Japanese prize for information and communications. But Richie and his colleagues still recall the early days when a sense of community helped drive them forward. The group I was in was quite close. Um, we often tended to work in the same uh, room, but there was a, lo a lot of synergy um, and lots of people contrib contributing. So as we look to the future of computing in the 21st century, sometimes it's good to remember the humble beginnings. And where does Ritchie think we're headed? Smaller computers in, v in various ways. Um, are going to continue to be important. For example, you know, the whole notion of wearable computers and, and uh, computers that are embedded in strange places that you didn't expect to see them um, uh, is going to become more and more possible. And presumably Unix will go along with that.